Hi, my name is Audrey and I'm the owner of Piping Hot Artworks. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install some industrial pipe shelving. Here's a sneak peek of what's to come. So stick around if you're interested in creating an industrial pipe shelf closet unit. FYI, one shoe can change your life. Okay, so for step one, you are going to measure out your wall space and decide on what length shelves you want. We also looked for the studs that were in the wall and put painter's tape along the border so we knew where they would line up. In step two, you're actually going to buy your shelf, cut it, distress it, paint it, do whatever you want with it. I've got some great videos on how to pick out a great level piece of wood and how to distress and paint your shelves so they look exactly like ours in a blue gray weathered tone. I'll include those below. Step three, you're going to prepare your pipe brackets by buying them. We use Supply Warehouse. You're going to clean them. I've got some products listed below you can use and then painting them. We use Rust-Oleum. I've got a PDF that includes all of the sections showing you exactly where each of our pipe fittings fit into the bracket. You can download it below. Okay, in step five, you are going to line your piece up to the wall and you're going to take a Sharpie or a pencil and mark within the flange holes where you're going to be drilling. So this is important because we want to make sure that we line it up as best as possible. You're going to use a level both vertically along the pipe bracket and horizontally to make sure before you mark your dots that it's going to be level. So here's a picture of showing kind of what it would look like. All right, so we've measured out our area that we want it to be in. We've marked it with two different pieces of painter's tape and made sure that it was even on each side. Placed our piece on the wall and leveled it and then put dots in the middle of each of the flanges. So now we're ready to begin drilling. All right, we're ready to begin drilling our holes, but I wanna point out that there's two different size bits that I'm gonna be using. So I happen to have a different size bit in each of these drills. At home, you may have to switch them out instead of using two at a time like this. So if you can see in the camera lens, I'm gonna begin with a smaller drill bit, and ideally, I'm gonna end with a 3 16th drill bit. So you can tell side by side that one of them's a lot larger than the other. This is the ideal size I need to screw in my industrial piping shelves. So I've already done one hole in advance to show you, but if you get closer, you can see that these are the dots that we had marked previously. So I've got these two holes in and discovered that this side is actually going to be my stud. So in the case of a stud, you do not need to use a plastic wall anchor like I've shown you here. We are going to be drilling the screw directly into the stud. So I'm gonna begin with my smaller drill bit, get to the center of my dot, and drill a hole in the wall. So you can see that there was a little bit of give once I've entered into the drywall directly. Next, I'm going to be doing the stud which should be a little bit more difficult to get through because we know that there's wood on the other side. Okay, so I've done the smaller drill bit. Next, I'm gonna go to my larger drill bit, which is the 3 16 and I'm just gonna make this hole bigger because that's what I need to fit my wall anchor in it. Okay, so it's important to remember to use the appropriate size drill bit to get the size hole that you need. We want our shelving unit to be as secure as possible, so try and hit a stud on at least one to two of your brackets. All right, so I've got my 3 16 hole, which I'm gonna need for the bigger wall anchor. I'm gonna leave this hole smaller with the drill bit I had previously used since it's gonna screw directly into the uh, stud. Now you just 
Lightly insert the wall anchor so you'll see it's partially filled. I've got a small hammer here and you're just gonna lightly tap on it to try and get it flush with the wall. If you apply too much pressure, you can actually damage the wall anchor, so you don't wanna do that. Just use a light tapping motion and it should go in correctly. I do want to point out that if you're using the appropriate size drill bit, you can actually use your finger sometimes to even push the wall anchor into the holes. So you may want to try that first before you start hammering them like crazy. Okay, so we've now completed by drilling in all the holes into the necessary areas of the wall that we need. I've already lined up our piping shelf unit and we've started screwing in all of the screws manually. You're going to use a regular Phillips head screwdriver just to get it into the wall. Then we'll go ahead with the actual drill and tighten each of the screws. So you can see that they're in here loosely, but it's stable enough where I no longer have to worry about it falling on top of me because you don't want any hazards while you're working. So I'm gonna continue using an electric drill to go ahead and tighten in all those screws and then we can check the level against our next piping shelf. Okay, so here I'm showing you that you don't need to drill your screws completely into the wall. We want them loosely um, in the piece but steady enough where it's not going to fall on you. The reason being is because you want it flexible while you're adjusting the level from one bracket to the other. Once you have everything perfectly leveled out, you can go ahead and really tighten in those screws. We typically use um, a electric drill for the majority of the screw, but leave a little bit of it still loose so you can hand tighten it with a Phillips screwdriver once you're all done. In step nine, you're gonna repeat the same exact process, but instead of using brackets one and two, you'll use brackets two and three, and so on and so forth, however many you have on your wall. Okay, so we've now successfully put up two of our industrial pipe shelving units. I've got each of them lined up exactly where they need to be in terms of the wall spacing. I've got a stud that I hit on this one, so I'm in luck there. Now, before I proceed onto my next shelving bar, I want to make sure that I'm level. So that's why it's important to keep these items a little bit loose and flexible so we can adjust them as needed. Now I just grabbed a regular board that I'm gonna to use to put in between the shelves and make sure that I'm along the right page before I continue putting up more shelving units. So any board that'll fit between your shelves is fine. I'm using the larger level right here. And if you can come closer in the video, you can see that my bubble in the level itself is lined up exactly in between the left and the right line. So I am dead on in terms of being straight and level for my shelves. What I'd want to do, ideally, is check out all of my shelves and make sure I'm at the right place where I need to be and that nothing needs to be adjusted. So far, we're rocking this. Perfect. And I already checked the higher shelves before the video started so you didn't have to watch me climb up there. But we know that we're good at this point. We can proceed on to our next shelving unit. Okay, so in step 11, you are just going to level all of your remaining brackets to one another. So you can add a really long board like we did here to make sure it's level all the way throughout, or you can do them um, one at a time. In step 12, you're just going to tighten all of your remaining screws and add your wood shelves to it. So at this point, everything should be perfectly level. This is the importance of assembling your bracket before you put it on the wall. I've seen videos where people try and do it piece by piece, and trust me, it's a nightmare. So this was the finished product with just the shelves on there using a blue grade weathered stain that we created. I've got a great video on it. I'll include it in the links below. Okay, so we thought we were done with our closet, and it looks fabulous, but 
true to the female mindset, I changed my mind. So the picture I'm about to show is what it looked like before. And now we've got a new piece. We could always use more shelves. So since I wanted to use fun little boxes, we added more shelves. And so I've added that to the clips. But I just wanted to give you an idea that sometimes planning doesn't always go to plan and you need to add things and rework things. So I'm very happy with the new addition of these shelves. And I've also created two more videos for you guys that you can tune into at the bottom that show you how to distress wood like this and how we painted the wood our blue gray weathered color. So you get a lot of cool tips and tricks from Piping Hot Artworks. I wanna thank you guys once again for tuning in. If you're interested in industrial decor or wanna do some fun DIY projects with me, please, please, please hit subscribe at the bottom. And if you have any great ideas on what you would like us to make in the future, whether it's Pinterest or something you saw on Facebook, let us know, leave a comment below and we'll totally try and make it happen. Thank you so much for tuning in.